Alright, in this video I'm going to be breaking down some new character promos, please. Do me a massive favor, right? And actually, you may be doing yourself a favor if you enjoy my content. Slap a like on this video, and then this is the most excruciating lady. Excru excruciating lady. Well, it sounds like a uh, SM, BDSM lady. Excruciating lady. Anyway, this is the most excruciatingly important thing you could do. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on. All the way on. Law 211. So that way, you'll get an, a notification as soon as I go live, right after House of the Dragon airs. We're literally three days away, and I cannot fucking wait. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Pustari, Ixos, Adao. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start saying this for every video. Spoiler warning. So I just watched the Rainey's uh, character teaser. Two things that I want to talk about. One, she looks amazing. Eve Best is going to kill it as the queen who never was. Which... That's the second thing that I want to talk about is there's a clip where, you know, uh, one of the House Baratheon members walks up and asks for Rhaenys' favor, right? And she does so. He says, I would like the favor of the queen who never was. And she kind of obviously gives uh, the Baratheon knight her laurel. It might be Boros or Borman. I'm not sure. It depends. I haven't, you know, we haven't really seen close-ups of the Baratheon characters. But this is probably the dude who reels when the dragon flies overhead from the initial uh, official trailer that came out a few months ago. Like, there's a Baratheon knight on a horse, and the horse bucks back, and it looks like he gets thrown off his horse, and that's when a dragon flies over. So maybe it's Cyrax, or maybe even uh, Rhaenys. It's probably Cyrax, and the, the rider gets spooked. But it's interesting, because he kind of just insulted Rhaenys by saying the queen who never was. Like, she gets that title because she isn't chosen at the Great Council of 101 AC. So it'll be really interesting to see. It looks like she sort of does this to Corliss, right? Like, the both of them are gonna be <laughs> probably one of my favorite two character combinations to have in a scene together. It looks like they, uh, even from the interviews, they have a lot of great chemistry, and that's obviously Eve Best and Steve Toussaint portraying uh, Corliss Valerion, Steve, and Eve Best is playing Rainey's. And then the next one that I want to talk about is Rainier and Alicent. Now, there's two things that I want to mention from that one. And all of these teasers are actually on the um, House of the Dragon, uh, you know, official website, HBO Max. Just go to HBO or HBO Max, whichever app you have, and type in House of the Dragon. You have to type in the word all the way out for the new videos to pop up. Because if you'll notice, the video I did from a few days ago was the other character promos. But anyway, Rainier x Alicent. One thing that I want to mention is it's going to be really kind of hard when the time jump happens, because we're going to be seeing Emily Carey playing Alicent and uh, Millie Alcock playing Rainier, and we're probably going to spend the majority of the screen time with those characters on on screen, and then the time jump happens, and it's two completely different actors. Um, it, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how well they pull it off, because I remember um, Emma Darcy, when they were doing interviews, they mentioned, I hear you, Batman, uh, when they were doing... Um, but yeah, so when, <laughs> when Emma Darcy was doing interviews, <clears throat> they mentioned how they would watch, uh, Millie Alcock portray Rainier as sort of like home footage, right? So they, they, uh, practice rehearsing the scenes that Millie and, um, Emily did together, right? So, uh, Olivia Cook and Emma Darcy, Olivia Cook's playing the older version of Allison, Emma Darcy's playing the older version of Rainier. They practice the scenes, some of the, probably the bigger scenes that the two younger actresses did for the earlier season. So hopefully it's a flawless transition. But I, from what I've seen, like we got Rainier riding on Xerax several times. Like we got the conversation between Rainier and Rainies, right? Where, where Rainier basically checks Rainies and she's like, Rainey's is telling her the realm will never choose a queen and Rainier's like the realm will never choose you right so there's kind of that's that's going to be an interesting dynamic the the um the dialogue that I've seen like you know Alicent is offered by uh Rainier to ride on Cyrex and she's kind of like no thanks uh this is my seat right she's basically saying like I don't trust dragons right and it's kind of interesting because Rainier looks at her funny and it might be one of those things where, like, if my dog doesn't trust you or, or if you don't like cats, I don't fuck with you kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that could be initially what happens. Like, um, we've actually seen this scene leaked. It was one of the first scenes that ever leaked when they were filming House of the Dragon. So it's going to be really exciting to see. But, yes, Rhaenyra x Alicent. The main majority of the theme between the two of those is how they're best friends and then how that best friend 
turns to the same amount of energy that they put into being close to, to hating each other. I can't wait to watch that dynamic on screen. Okay, so in the Coralist teaser, he talks about how he is a accomplished sailor. And without him, really, as an ally, it's kind of hard to get anything done. Corliss has been on something known as nine voyages. In each one of them, something crazy has happened. And to be honest, George hasn't even revealed what happened to Corliss Filarion in each one of these nine voyages. So that's something this show is going to be exploring, and I'm super excited about it. One thing that I kind of wasn't expecting is that Corliss's character kind of seems a bit pompous. Like, yes, his wife is Rainey's, and she was the one who was skipped over, but not you personally, bro. Like, I'm not talking about Steve Toussaint sans portrayal obviously the writers are responsible for this but he kind of seems arrogant like like Tyrion style arrogant and also that could just be a misnomer or just a way to misdirect us into thinking that he's going to be a pompous asshole and his wife is going to be a bit of a Westerosi carrot it's going to be the actual opposite of that and I can't fucking wait to see his character on screen now one thing I have seen Steve uh repeat a few times in interviews is that his house is the oldest like in one early interview he said that House Valarian is the hold oldest house in uh Westeros and that is absolutely not the case what he means and he more clarified here is that House Valarian was in in Westeros uh, established before House Targaryen. Like, uh, the Valyrians had established Dragonstone as a trading post, and before Daenys the Dreamer came over, 11 years before the Doom of Valyria, House Valarion had already been established on Driftmark. And then after Corlys gets super wealthy, he builds them a new seat called High Tide. And that's the one we're going to be seeing uh, probably the majority of for the first season, at least, because we've gotten um, from the you know, from just from the background of this teaser, we see, like, a dragon skull, we see, like, a skull of a Valarion with, like, uh, some sort of almost coral growing on, and that's something that, like, has to be on the bottom of the ocean floor, like, coral grows on sunken gold, right, and that's one way to confirm that it's sunken treasure, so it'll be interesting to see all of the different artifacts that Corliss has brought back from all these nine voyages, like, I'm probably going to pause, rewatch, and then zoom in on every single shot in the background at high tide, and then lastly for this video, sir, Auto Hightower, like Reese Iphens, holy shit dude, you menacing motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> one thing I will say is that all of Viserys' kingly attire in the promo for the character breakdown of Sir Auto Hightower, King Viserys looks fucking awesome, specifically I like this uh, like leather ridden Targaryen, like ah oh, man, I gotta cosplay as King Viserys, but anyway, Sir Auto is going to be menacing, He there's a, there's a shot of him holding Allison's hands, um, young Allison, right, played by Emily Carey, and she's got blood on her fingernails. And that's probably from maybe the first fight with Rhaenyra. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, the way that he talks with Allison looks as though the relationship's going to be quite abusive. Like, he's holding her hands, and he's like, why do you destroy yourself? And she's got, like I said, like, bloody fingernails, you know what I mean? So, Allison might be self-destructive. She might be a bit of an emo teenager, and that's probably brought on by the abuse from her father. Otto, you're going to be quite a bit of a bastard. Like, I see Tywin, I also see Varus, I also, this is immediate, scream out to me, Littlefinger. Littlefinger with the daughter is Tywin. That's who Sir is gonna be. I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. Please, slap a like on this video, the like goal is gonna be 420, and special thank you to every single member of my Patreon family, over on patreon.com slash your reviews. And basically, if you're unaware, Patreon is just a way for me to directly combat YouTube delisting my videos, whereas I don't make much money from here YouTube. Consider checking that out if you really like my shit, and also, thanks again for watching. My name's Mark and Zaltrizos Postari, Ixostaor. House of the Dragon is literally three days away. This is insane. Make sure you have your notifications turned all the way on and that you're subscribed so you get an alert when I drop my uh, breakdown video on each episode and also in the teaser trailer and also more importantly I'm going to be going live as soon as the episode ends. I'll probably be one of the first people live here on YouTube so make sure you have no one of the, those notifications turned on. I don't know.